The African Development Bank takes a third position in Uganda and contributes about 21% of the country's credit. Economic analysts say Uganda losing a stake is good for the country because it will save it from additional debt. The debt has been rising and we think debt that has been acquired, that is being managed poorly, that is not being absorbed, should be managed for now. The African Development Bank is a multilateral development lender and draws its members from states in Africa and beyond. Available data indicates that Uganda's public debt is expected to go above 13 billion US dollars at the end of the financial year 2017-2018. Uganda has borrowed a significant amount of money to invest in major infrastructure projects like roads, rail, energy and oil and gas, but delayed subscription to the African Development Bank means limited access to cheap money, which is likely to stall these projects, but also affect service delivery. All the 54 countries in Africa are member states of the African Development Bank. Economic analysts say Uganda is likely to lose influence among its member states. We need to get out of long-term infrastructure projects, balance that well with quick gains, quick wins. How do we put money into agriculture? But it's not just about the budget into agriculture, reform the structural institutions, reform some of these policies so that your money gives you value. Otherwise, if you keep funding a dead institution, you can never get it revived. Uganda's economy has been struggling mainly due to the long dry spell that has affected agriculture production. Domestic revenue has also dwindled, forcing the country to borrow more. Considering the consistent borrowing that we are going by and with all these negative um, negative returns that we are having, I believe the economy of Uganda is going to have a problem paying back the loan. The Auditor General's report indicates that Uganda has a total of 7.5 million US dollars as outstanding obligations with other organizations. Failure to make timely subscription will continue to affect the country's ability to fully benefit from these international entities. Michael Baleke, CGTN, Kampala, Uganda.